What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to play Life in the Village 2 for your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're playing vanilla Minecraft, you may see a couple of villages here and there, but if you notice, the villagers themselves aren't that exciting and there's not much to do in these villages besides maybe get a couple of chests. So what do you do to up the ante? Well, you get Life in the Village 2. This is a great, simple mod pack that is a lot of fun for people who like to build. Every link that I mention in this video tutorial today will be in the description below. Just head down to the description and look for useful links. To install it on your server, the first thing you're going to want to do is of course head to your Apex panel and click the red stop button in order to stop the server. The server will start to switch offline and once it finally is, after a few moments, you'll see it says offline. From here you're going to scroll down to where you see the game file fields and select the drop down bar that is available next to it. In this search bar you're going to type up Life in the Village and Life in the Village 2 should be one of the only options that shows up. Select it. Next, you're going to click Change Version. Then, we recommend you do this whenever you're changing versions, but you don't necessarily have to. But you should create a new world. Finally, you're going to select Restart Now, and that'll get it installed onto your server. Client side is a bit different. You're first going to need to download the app from DownloadCurseForge.com, and you're going to download it for the operating system that you use. From here, in the Browse Mod Pack section in the app, you're going to search up Life in the Village 2. The search results may take a moment to come up, but once they do, the first one should be Life in the Village 2. On the right hand side, click the orange install button to get it installed, and once it is finally all said and done, you'll be able to head to the My Mod Pack section and click the orange play button. Now let's jump into the gameplay. Whether you're starting single player or multiplayer, you'll notice that you'll find you have starter items, which offers more than most chests in vanilla Minecraft. But you'll also notice that you start near a village. This is a lot cooler because there are some unique structures and a zoom in feature, which makes Optifine look pretty lame. But the thing that you're going to most need to start out with first is of course the starting house blueprint. So once you've explored your area a bit and you find a section that maybe you want to build a house, you're going to right click it in the area you want and you'll be greeted with this UI in which you can change the house style, bed color, glass color, and a couple of other things. But one of the coolest features is that you are allowed to preview the build by selecting the preview button. It'll show up with this cool transparent image of what the house will look like and once you have decided yes this is where you want it you just right click one more time and click build on the bottom right. The house will just magically appear and you'll be able to check the inside and outside out and enjoy your new home. One of the coolest factors that this house offers though is that there's a built-in mineshaft. Not only that, but it goes extremely deep and when you finally get to the bottom after the thousands of ladders it feels like, there's a chest and it'll give you a variety of stone and materials to build from, which is just a great starting point for more building if you want to. The most important part, in my opinion, of this is the quest book. This is going to be your best friend to help guide you through everything that this mod pack has to offer. Trust me. For example, this may look like a lot, but if you just scale it down just a bit and you see the first available quest, all you have to do is go punch a tree and you'll get just a bunch of apples. So go find a tree, hit it down, and what you're going to notice is that when you complete the quest, on the right hand side you'll see quest completed for whatever thing is done. From here you can go in and collect your reward. There's a ton of awesome quests and some of them are as simple as just reading and clicking on the quest book itself. For example this next one is quest types and rewards. You just have to read this small page, select the check mark, and well unfortunately there's no rewards for this one, but you get to continue to open up the tree of the quest book in order to do more and more things. There's a ton of options and there's a lot of fun to be had. The next thing that I recommend building is a supply camp. It's built like a boat but with chests instead of planks. This is a finicky thing to get down and the preview is not always clear on what exactly you need to do to put it down properly. 
but what I suggest is going and finding a wide plain area for you to build this thing out. It's going to be very helpful, so I definitely recommend you do this as soon as possible. What you want to do is abide by all the things that the preview is asking you to do, make sure that there's solid ground and things of that nature, and then just hit the check mark and it'll build this supply camp. This is where you're going to start building your actual settlement. And you'll actually notice that once you build this supply camp, you're going to see under the My Colony tab of the quest book that you have a quest completed. It's going to be the supply camp quest after unlocking it, and that will open up even more things for you to do. Well, gamers, there's still tons to explore in this mod pack, but it's a relatively straightforward one, which is why I recommend you check it out for yourself and see what kind of new things are offered. And that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.